So since we have serial ATA3, we bought uh, serial ATA 3.0 uh, cables. Now you may say, why did you buy cables when this case has a, a hot swappable bay on the front of it? Has a hot swappable bay? Well, see, I know that this case has a hot swappable bay, but it is only supports serial ATA 2.0. If you look in there. And so I knew to make it 3.0, we would not be able to use that hot swappable bay. I will still use the physical slots, but I actually wire them in for it to be uh, 3.0 instead of 2.0. So those are the type of things that I, I'd be able to answer for people. Okay, continuing on, I already did a review of the Strider 1500 watt, and you know from the review you can tell I'm not 100% happy with it because there's several things that I think Silverstone did wrong, but we bought it for sheer power. You know, we're going to have three GTX 480s with a 9800 GT. And since this case will only hold one power supply, our best chance to power all that uh, successfully is going to be this power supply. So we went with it. Uh, now, when I build a computer, I don't like to build it just to where, hey, we get by and it works. I want it to be a margin of error. So that's why right here, if you look right here, I bought a supplemental. 450 watt power supply that actually goes into a five and a quarter bay. If you see it right there, it actually looks like that. It goes in a five and a quarter bay. It's 450 watts. And when I power it up and start overclocking, I will be able to measure the power draw that this computer uses, and I will decide whether or not to use that 450 power uh, watt power supply. It'll fit in one of these bays here, and. Uh, a GTX 480, even when it's severely overclocked, I've been running, it's probably around 400 watts at the max, and so that 450 watt power supply will be able to power one of those GTX 480s, and that will solve the power supply problem. He, will, he won't have any issues with not having enough power, and he'll be able to upgrade, put more hard drives or whatever he wants to in the future. Okay, moving on, here, there's the two fan controllers. Uh, this is the one that I reviewed here recently and that's the one that I actually have in my build and these are the type of things that I'll do for you you know for a client if they want to build you know he likes this one here but he was wondering about this one so what I did is I bought both for him and depending on which you know he'll watch the review and he'll tell me which one he likes better and that's one I'll put in the case and the other one I'll either keep myself or I will send back so again I you know my my goal is to make uh, the person I'm building the computer for 100 percent happy. Okay, right here are we decided to go with the unisleeve cabling uh, from ModWrite, and uh, I don't even have that in my computer. And so uh, I think with this cabling, it's going to look awesome in the computer. So I'm really looking forward to that. And that right there is actually going to solve the loop problem that we have from the, uh, if you watch my Silverstone Strider 1500 watt review, uh, these cables will solve that little loopy loop problem that I, that I said I didn't like. Okay, going on the water cooling, I'm using the Cool Ants water blocks because they are really the best for the GTX 480 currently as far as uh, performance, and they look sweet and they light up. Now it comes with blue LEDs, he want, we're going with a red theme and so I will change those LEDs out for him and put red LEDs in it. I got three of those of course and then for the CPU we're using the Coolant CPU 360 which is an awesome uh, water block performance wise and it looks awesome so we went with that and right next to it is something man I wish I had. And I was thinking about stealing it from them but I, I don't guess I will. It's the new version of the ERM 2K3U. It is the copper version and while copper is better than the aluminum, which is what mine is, the real major benefit you get from using this unit over mine is there is a 24 volt pump in it. And my uh, 2K3U only has a 12 volt pump. So this will have higher pressure, uh, discharge pressure, and the pressure drop across the unit will be less. And so of course you will get better performance from all your water cooling blocks. Got some uh, sleeves uh, for the uh, the tubing and we went with blue tubing by the way and usually the colors I let you know the the person I'm building the computer for because I don't know what colors you like and then we got some UV lights because the tubing is UV reactive and then I got uh, some red lights there as well 
and then right here are all the fittings. We have the uh, Coolant Quick Disconnect fittings for in and out. I have a temperature sensor so we will be able to, be able to tell the uh, coolant temperature. I have a flow meter and then here's all my compression fittings. I have regular compression fittings. I have angle compression fittings and right here are the uh, fittings that go in between the GTX 480's for SLI. I got some 45 angle fittings just in case I need them. Uh, and then I got some grommets because I'm going to have to modify the case a little bit to get the tubing the way I want it to go. And then here I have extra sleeving and heat shrink uh, in case there's going to be some wires that, that aren't wrapped and we want everything to be wrapped because we want it to look good. Uh, up on top here I went with the Zig Zigmatec uh, fans all the way around. Uh, the Corsair case has two 140 millimeter fans which there they are and then you can put five 120 millimeter fans in the Corsair case, so I got five of those fans. So overall, I think this this build is going to be awesome. Uh, it's going to be able to do anything you want as far as gaming. It's going to be with using the quick disconnects. It's going to be portable. I mean, it's not the the most portable computer you can have, but it uh, it's not going to be bad because he's going to have uh, a lot of performance packed into it. Uh, something else that I did not mention is uh, is the one component that I'm missing. Uh, for, for those of you all that, that would like to watch the, the video again and figure out what component did he not say that there's a component I'm missing that I did not go over that will not allow the computer to boot. And that's because it wasn't in stock, but I got it ordered today, so I should have it tomorrow. So I'm going to start on this build tomorrow. Uh, so for those of you that uh, would like me to build a computer for you I would love to do it uh, again this is my this is my one and only hobby and I love computer hardware uh, how that usually works for builds like this that are really expensive you know usually I'll accept the wire transfer uh, that's how we did it with uh, my client from Sweden for this build uh, if it's a smaller build I don't I, I love building all types of builds uh, you know we can use PayPal or something similar to that but again uh, I'll give you an estimated time of when I think I can complete it. Uh, I make no money off the components. Whatever I can get the components for is what you get the components for. So I make no profit off that. Uh, there is labor involved. That is my only profit. And of course I enjoy building the computer. And so uh, most of the time the warranties will be through the original manufacturer. But I will help any person I build a computer for. I will help them you know, fulfill the warranties. So, uh, Hopefully this is uh, informational for everyone and hopefully I get some more builds uh, from people because again I like doing it and of course I wouldn't mind making a little extra money. Uh, if you have any questions just please send me a question about, you know, depending on where you live, you know, how shipping would be. Of course shipping is paid by the buyer but I, you know, I charge you exactly what it is to ship. There's no hidden fees is what I'm trying to say. Uh, except for my, I mean, labor is not a hidden fee but that's the only part that I, that I make profit off. So I guess I'm rambling again. So we'll go ahead and end the video here and be sure to watch upcoming videos of when I put this beast together and we'll probably do a showcase on it and some uh, uh, some benchmarks and this is going to be one heck of a build. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe.